Hey guys, what's up? You got Dom back again. I'll be bringing you episode 3 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon competitive analysis and today up we have Silvali, baby Arceus himself. This episode will be however a little bit more critical than the others have been in the past just because Game Freak really did this Pokemon a disservice with the potential to have multiple and all of the typings like Arceus does but it does not have the move pool to back it up as much of the Pokemon in this generation are unfortunately cursed with. Let's go ahead and get into some sets and some stats and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So Silvali has a really nice stat set, uh, being base 95 in every stat, much like Arceus is base 120 in every stat. However, base 95 is technically pretty mediocre in our power creep metagame, where Pokemon frequently have way higher base stats and multiple stats than this. Um, even its speed tier is kind of odd, just because 317 doesn't really hit a comfortable spot and the things that it's faster than and won't be able to knock out in one hit similar to Solgaleo but way 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 worse because its offenses being base 95 as well aren't going to be able to make it hit very hard and it also doesn't get any boosting moves outside of sword stance and work up work up can be used to make a mix attacking set but it's not really going to be useful uh or viable in my opinion um it does however open up some opportunities to have maybe like a mixed bulk set um having base 95 hp and defenses is absolutely amazing so it's more of a uh defensive benefiting set than it is offensively um let's go ahead and take a look at some sets like the stats kind of speak for itself the move pool is the only thing that can really carry it or pull it down and as i said earlier the move pool that game free gave it really really brings it down so let's go ahead and get into that Alright guys, so my thoughts on Savali is that it will land somewhere in RU or UU. Um, its stats and its move pool definitely do not allow it to be in OU, like that is not an option at all. Even UU, I'm kind of like hesitant to say it can be in there just because it does have uh, a good special move pool where it's versatile, but again its power and its speed are not really uh, going to behoove it to put much work in. It is bulky however, so it can be good at getting rid of like annoying threats to get rid of such as like Ferrothorn. Um, Empoleon actually has a lot of trouble just because it does not get any reliable ground move or fighting move unless you have that memory and then you'll be stuck with that because it doesn't have any support coverage for that. So um, the first thing that shouted out to me is Draco memory because Dragon is really nice defensively because the only thing you read to is Ice and Dragon and you resist the common elemental moves, um, Fire, Water, Grass, Electric. and then offensively having stab draco meteor it's absolutely amazing especially coming from base 95 special attack it's not terrible um you gotta think it's even weaker than a dragonite's uh draco meteor but still it's good to punch holes it's the strongest move um flamethrower and ice beam and thunderbolt awesome coverage for getting rid of things that have quad weaknesses or just generally cause a problem for the team that you need that specific typing to deal with so it's got really nice coverage it'll be really hard to switch into without taking super effective damage or getting a big divot taken out of you with draco meteor um Again, really lacking in power, and its speed tier doesn't make it something you'd really want to send in on an offensive mon. The only thing I could see it re being really good at is being like, not a revenge killer in the, I guess, common sense, but its bulk is to the point where, let's say you have a really strong offensive threat in front of you, and you're like, okay, what do I have to take this hit and knock it out? Um, you send out Savali, and it should, in theory, be able to take one hit from virtually any mon in any tier. Um, unless it's super effective and stab of course, um, but it's it's very bulky So it should be able to take one hit and then do dish out big damage back after the Pokemon is weakened um, So let's go ahead and look into the other set So this next set is gonna be ground memory and like I said again, it doesn't have the best support moves uh, To go with this it does have rock side. However, it's not gonna be very strong coming off of a non life orb or boosted attack But it will get coverage if something switch ends. I guess a um, multi attack being a base 90 stab ground move It's pretty nice ground is an awesome offensive typing um, ice beam and flamethrower just to choose coverage between things that are weak to ice that ground can't really hit or Flamethrower that ground isn't going to be able to hit such as uh, grass types um, rock slide, obviously things that are flying in the air, and the reason I chose Explosion was because it would be a really nice move to, like, if someone brings something in that you're trying to put a den in, Explosion is always nice to have, and so Volley could just be a really nice, uh, like, last resort kind of thing. Uh, you whittle things down with your coverage, and then once it's weak enough, and if you're faster, you just boom on it, or if you know you're going to be able to live a hit that you're not going to be able to live the next time, you just boom on it, that's awesome. Alternatively, you can U-turn out, uh, gain momentum, that's always nice to have. Uh, I'm really happy it does get U-turn, that's a really solid move, the only problem is it can't execute U-turn very well, because like I said again, it doesn't get good support moves for the typings that it can have. Even as far as stab goes at most times, besides multi-attack, not having a special move on these sides, like if you got special 
Uh, if you could choose whether you want a multi-attack to be special or physical, having Ice Beam plus a stab base 90 ground moves, that basically Earth Power, that would be absolutely amazing just because just Ice and Ground together is amazing coverage in general, but having to choose between being physical with Ice Beam or special with, I guess, ground multi-attack, it, it's just not really good. So, uh, like I said, Silvali's not really looking like it'll be super viable as a Pokemon. It'll probably be slammed somewhere in UU or RU. So uh, let's move on to the next set, which is actually, I think, the more viable of the four that I'm going to show you guys today. So uh, yeah, let's get into that. Alright, this next set is going to be a water set. Water being a fantastic typing, only being weak to electric and grass. Just having Surf, Stab Surf, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt, that's absolutely amazing coverage. It should be able to hit almost everything that it comes up against, either neutrally or super effectively. Um, again, it's lacking in overall power. Not being able to have a Life Orb really hurts it here, um, just because having neutral base 95, uh, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt isn't really going to be putting dents. And even as a Stab move, Surf isn't going to be really doing very much either. But it will be able to perhaps be like a late game cleaner for things that are weakened and have super effective moves to it. Uh, or just being able to eat up hits and fire off uh, super effective damage or neutral damage. Again, I don't think Silvali will be very viable in OU or even UU at this point, um, but it will have its place. I'm sure it will have its place. Someone will find some funky way to use it, or it just might be able to serve as a good thing to get hit, dish out hits, and move on. Um, that being said, let's move on to the next set, and this is the last set I'm going to show you guys, but it's a little bit trolly, so bear with me. Alright, I know what you guys are thinking, this looks like something Verlissify would make, but the only reason I'm even suggesting this is because as soon as I saw that Silvali learned an explosion, it immediately reminded me of Custap SD, Licky Licky in the lower tiers, which is really fun to use, however Licky Licky I feel it does a little bit better job at that, just because it learns Earthquake, and Silvali doesn't get any ground moves, except for multi-attack if it has ground memory, which sucks, so this is why I said to run Flamethrower or Toxic, Toxic is always nice for fatter mods, Flamethrower at least hits steel types, I guess you could run Surf for neutral coverage, but when you're in an offensive set, it's really really not going to matter or even do that much so this it's kind of just stuck with having the uh return and explosion as its main offensive moves uh if you run into rock or steel types you're kind of just uh forced to not use this or just toxic them i guess because they shouldn't be able to knock you out um after that sd return is actually really nice return is a really really nice stab move to have just because it's base one or two it'll hit really hard and then having the cut stab berry explosion after it's put some dents and things if there are no rock or steel types that's absolutely amazing um the verdict on Silvali overall is, like I said, it's really, really a shame that Game Freak has made so many mods that could have been cool and really viable, but number one, it seems like they're not really catering to what the competitive community, uh, I, I guess vgc wise they're really uprooting the game and saying okay we want all these pokemon we want vgc to be the main focus of competitive battling we don't care about singles like they threw that out of the water which is really disappointing to me because yes a lot of the fans of pokemon are in the vgc and that is the official playstyle now but we have a huge community like the small community and just people that like to play pokemon showdown and singles like people we grew up playing singles format like Pokemon was you catch your Pokemon, you send it out against one person, you switch out if you need to, you bring in the next one, and that's just the way it is. Now it's all doubles and protect and just nonsense. Like, yes, it's fun. Like, I'm I personally am going to be playing VGC this season, um, and this generation. I just think it looks cool. Um, and the fact that they changed the Alola decks to being the only Pokemon that you can use in the official format. So it'll be interesting to see the way that works out, which actually that makes the fact that most of the Pokemon in Gen 7 being slow, it's kind of like they're trying to revamp all of their speed tiers. I just don't understand why they made everything base 40 or 50. It's like those are literally almost unusable in uh, singles format. However, people at Smogon and people that play the game will be creative and they'll come up with ways to use these if they have to or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I'm really disappointed that Savali doesn't have a better moveset and they kind of uh, screwed it over, but it's still a really, really, really cool Pokemon. Uh, it could form a really nice niche in whatever tier it lands in. We'll just have to see. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Peace.